What's up guys, Vex here and today I'm bringing you a, another quick After Effects tutorial. This is on this uh, little green grid thing that we got here. I mean it doesn't have to be green, it can be any colour you want but um, I used it in my Get Crazyfied edit as a sort of transition um, which is what I'll show you in this tutorial um, but I also used it a while ago, like over a year ago most likely um, in an L7 entry that I did and I just overlaid it on the clip to sort of be like an extra effect before he shoots so basically yeah let's go ahead and start this so we're gonna go to our project panel and we're gonna make a new composition which is this little button down here or the shortcut on the keyboard is control N so let's call this grid effect uh, you wanna make sure your width and your height and your frame rate is as normal and then you want the duration to be around three seconds we can change it it doesn't really matter too much okay so once you've done that make a new solid so control Y on the keyboard if or if that doesn't work for you go to layer new solid okay so go to effects and presets type in grid and generate grid once you get that you get this little grid effect with these lines here and the first thing you want to do is size from you want to change that to width and height sliders. Uh, you want to set the width to around 200, which is the most it can go, I think, without with this little dragon thing here. You want it on 200 and the height around 120, something like that. So you get this sort of grid effect, and it doesn't take, and it's not all closed and compact together. Okay, then the border we're going to take to six, and that's all we need to do with that grid effect. Now the next effect that we drag on is CC light sweep so CC light sweep okay drag that on and as what we want to do here is change the direction to 45 degrees and we want to change the width to a hundred the sweep intensity I think we'll take that up a bit I'm gonna put it on around 60 um, the edge intensity will take up to around a hundred. Um, the color, I'm just gonna make mine the green like I had before because I think the green looks quite nice. And the light reception we want to change to cut out. Then you get this little, as you can see, you get this little grid effect and it's looking quite nice. Now, is what you want to do is you want to click this little. Uh, I don't know what this is like a little target kind of effect and you want to start it in the top left corner just outside you want to drag it just so you don't see any of the green bit and you want to click the stopwatch on center you want to go to the end so I'm gonna to go to I'm gonna make this two seconds long actually um, so I'm gonna to go to two seconds trim my comp to work area right go to the last frame and drag this down to the the opposite corner so you could start on the top right and go down to the bottom left or the other way around whatever it doesn't matter which corners you do so you've got this so far now to make this look a little bit nicer we're gonna add glow so stylize glow drag that on and my settings for this uh, the radius I set to 20 the intensity I set to 2 and then the threshold is what I did is I started at zero so zero keyframe go to the end and set it to a hundred um, okay so we got this nice little glowy effect right now you want to go to glow color colors change original colors to A and B colors and then we want to change our A and B colors so we start off with a nice green or whatever color you want to start off with and towards the end you want it to change to a nice yellow well I want it to change to a nice yellowy effect so you just get tints of the yellow mixed with the green which is why I like these two colors because they look quite nice together so yeah that's all we need to do with the glow now I added one or two more things I added a vector blur so vector blur CC vector blur drag that on it's just uh, put all these arrows up so I can see the settings for this quite quite clearly I want to set the amount to oop, keep it on natural set the amount to 15 and then it's what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to keyframe the angle offset so go to the start 
click your little stopwatch, go to the end and change this to two roughly. I, you can change it to one, change it to three. Oh, that doesn't look too nice. In fact, then I may actually change that to one. Let me get this grid effect. Yeah, okay, that's that's a little bit nicer. Because we're just gonna add a little bit of blur to that anyway, so you won't tell too much. Uh, make sure your map softness is on 15. And yeah, okay. So the last thing is a fast blur. Drag that on, this makes it a little bit blurry. Just put this on two and repeat edge pixels. And that's basically all I did for this effect right here. This little glowing grid effect. Um, now I'm just going to show you real quick how to make it transition like. Okay. Um, so, as you know, for all transitions in After Effects, you need to have a little bit of leeway, uh, a bit of overlap here to transition from one clip into the other. So, go to my project, take my grid effect composition, drag that on above both of them and so it's what we get is this kind of looking thing here all right so because that doesn't transition at the minute is what we're going to want to add to the top layer of the clip not on your grid the layer underneath that we're going to want to add a um what well, it's a wipe i forgot what it's called now it's just gone from the top of my head a linear wipe Where's linear wipe? That's the one. Okay, so we're going to go to the start of our a start where the composition starts. Uh, we are going to change the direction to what's ninety plus forty-five, hundred thirty-five. Okay, and we are going to feather it like five pixels, and then we're going to at the start here set the transition completion. Stop watch that on zero go to the end of the composition so the composition ends around here and set the transition completion to a hundred and then hopefully is what we get is a grid looking transition kind of effect like that okay so if I just quickly run preview this really quick uh, shouldn't take too long but yeah, that's basically all you have to do for this. Um, I think when I originally did it, my settings were slightly different. But you get the general idea. <coughs> you can play with your own settings, make this look however you want. Um, but yeah, when we get this, the grid comes across and it transitions quite nicely. Come on, it's taking quite a while. It's probably because of Camtasia, but uh Okay, so let's just quickly run preview this. And there we go, we got a transition like that. Yeah, so that's basically it guys. Thanks for watching. Uh please like, comment, subscribe and all that stuff. Um and leave a comment with what you want to see next in tutorials I know uh, I have to do well I know I plan on doing uh, some 3d animation tutorials um, but I've only just started them so I'm not sure how comfortable I am with teaching other people when I'm still learning myself really but uh, yeah thanks for watching anyway please like and comment subscribe and all that stuff